قال رب إني لا أملك إلا نفسي وأخي. We talked about how Musa makes du'a so often and is constantly calling out to Allah. But if you look and you pay attention to the du'a that Musa is making, and also other prophets, their du'as are highlighted in the Qur'an, you see that they are actually having a conversation with Allah. It is not so much a, a list of requests and a list of wants, but a big part of it is actually having that conversation and enjoying it. So we find Musa alayhi salam, when he's at a very difficult point dealing with his people, with Bani Israel, he calls out to Allah expressing that need and that frustration and that that deficiency and, and how he is in need of the assistance of Allah. He says, Oh my Lord and Master and Creator, I don't have anyone except me and my brother. He's talking to Allah. He's expressing his pains and what is troubling him. We also find that as part of Musa's du'as, he makes commitments. He, he's expressing what he is uh, what he is going to work towards after the incident where an Egyptian man lost his life. Musa says, قَالَ رَبِّ بِمَا أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيَّ فَلَنْ أَكُونَ ظَهِيرًا لِلْمُجْرِمِينَ He makes a, a statement, a declaration, a commitment to Allah that oh Allah, because of your blessings and your bounties that you've bestowed upon me, I am never going to be an assistant to criminals and to wrongdoers. I don't want to have anything to do with their oppression and their evil. For many of us, we're not used to making dua. Or when we do make dua, it just lasts a very short amount of time and then we just run out of things to ask for. But if all our dua is, is just asking for things, what is it that we want? That's a very shallow dua experience. We can transform that by turning the dua into a conversation. That's what Musa teaches us. That's what all the prophets in the Quran teach us to do, is to actually have a conversation with Allah. You are in a place where you are speaking to someone that can definitely hear you. And what you are saying is being recorded. And Allah promises to answer the dua of the one that calls upon him, the supplication, the prayer of those that call upon him. But it needs to be sincere. It needs to be genuine. And we learn that there should be an expression of humility and of need. That we are speaking to our Creator who is far greater and far more powerful than we are. And we are in need of the assistance of Allah. Express your needs to Allah. Realize that this conversation is a safe space. There is no room for shame. There is no room for embarrassment. Whatever we are going to share with Allah, He already knows it anyways. There's no way that we would be embarrassed or belittled uh, or thought negatively of. That's one way we could totally change our dua experience. Instead of just always asking for things, yes, we can ask. That's powerful. But let's have a conversation. Let's talk to Allah.